on by uh, Alaska's finest at the State Fair. No freedom of speech allowed. And we're taking your calls for Bob Chapman, economist, the international forecaster dot com at eight hundred two five nine ninety two thirty one. And now we're going to Sebastian in Portugal. Sebastian, you're on the air. Go ahead. Oh, hello, hello to the two of you. Uh, I have two questions for for Mr. Bob Chapman. Uh, well, both dealing with with my country, Portugal. I know he's familiar with the, the situation of the so-called uh, pigs. Um, Mr. Chapman, uh, how likely do you think it is that in the in the foreseeable future, the the Portuguese economy will will go into dire straits and uh, and collapse? And if so, what do you see um, happening? Do you think uh, there's a possibility we might return to a dictatorship like we had? little over 30 years ago. And I know you've made some recommendations uh, to the Greek people on what they should do to get out of their predicament. What would you recommend for, for Portugal? Should we, should we leave the euro or abandon the, the eurozone altogether? Well, first of all, I don't see a return to dictatorship. I, I think that's out of the question. And uh, uh, second of all, uh, the the problems uh, are for Portugal are not as dire uh, for, uh, as they are in Greece. Uh, the, the Spanish and the Irish and the Italians have similar problems of varying degrees. But uh, when you have insurmountable debt, uh, the only way out is to uh, default on that debt. And I think a Port uh, if uh, Greece defaults, which I think they should, I think it should be a solid consideration for the countries I've just mentioned. I, I know Portugal very well. I had a home in Almancil, uh on the golf course there, and uh, I spent a lot of time in Albufeira and Faro, and, of course, in Lisbon and Abueto as well. And so I'm very familiar with the country. Uh, and uh, so I, I think if... Let, let's say what happens in Greece. Uh, the, the Greek government is going to do a lot of laying off this month of September, and it's going to bring demonstrations. And uh, uh, we've had talk uh, from responsible sources that there might be a coup, uh, but a bloodless one, uh, in driving the government out of power. And uh, I personally, as an outsider, I think that's a good idea. And uh, if the, the financial situation in Portugal is, becomes as overwhelming as it, as it is in Greece, I think they should consider the same thing. And we, uh, we report out of Bilderberg um, back in June about how the globalists were basically in a blind panic about rescuing the euro because it basically re represents their entire long-term agenda for global economic governance under the banner of this uh, bank or world bank imf currency and of course if the euro was to go under then it would completely uh, discredit the notion that currencies that unite regional blocks are stable at all you know it, it would prove that they are inherently unstable so that's why Bilderberg resolved to um, rescue the euro when it was at its lowest point at the beginning of June end of May um, and in fact since that time the euro has dramatically risen against the US dollar it's down today but in the long term it's it's recovered a lot of ground against the dollar so um, we'll wait to see how that plays out with Portugal, Greece, and the debt default situation. Uh, we're going to move on to um, Steve in Arizona. Steve, you're on the air with Bob Chapman. Hi, Bob. Hey, uh, great job. And, uh, Paul, you're doing a great job filling in. And uh, I have two questions for you, Bob. Uh, number one, what, what is, what is your, uh, your newest forecast numbers for the unemployment in the United States? And number two, have you heard anything on the uh, on the NAFTA uh, I four superhighway that's supposed to come through? Uh, I hear Arizona, New Mexico, and Oklahoma, possibly Kansas. Well, first of all, it's um, currently twenty one and three eighths percent real unemployment. That's U six uh, without the uh, the uh, birth death ratio, 
as far as the uh, North American uh, alliance, we'll call it, of, uh, and the highway, uh, which is uh, uh, the melding or uh, amalgamation of, uh, of uh, Mexico, United States, and Canada, now that's kind of on the back burner. Alex, Alex knows lots and lots about that. Uh, but it, 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 they haven't given up, I can, I can tell you that. But it, uh, it has been stopped at the pass, so to speak. And um, unemployment, I, unfortunately, uh, looks like it is going to head higher in the short term. Although if they uh, shove uh, $2.5 trillion into the economy, which I think they're going to do over the next year, uh, the unemployment would probably go down a little bit. But it's not going to get out much. Okay, we'll be back after the break, going to more of your calls with Bob Chapman. Stay tuned to The Alex Jones Show at prisonplanet.tv. You worry, but only because you're paying attention. What's happening in the Gulf of Mexico illustrates an audacity toward nature. A similar audacity called GMO, or genetically modified organisms, means that the quality of commercially grown food may be compromised with our health in the balance. Now that summer's here, what better time to learn about the bounty that nature provides in wild edible food? Let author Linda Runyon show you the best kept secret in plain sight, that food is everywhere you look. This summer, for the cost of a good meal or two out, you can literally starvation-proof yourself and your loved ones against any future craziness and put up tons of free food, too. Whatever experiment is being run on us, you can rest assured that Linda's 50 or so staple foods aren't involved. Our foods are their enemy. So go to ofthefield.com or call toll-free 1-888-51-EAT-FREE and take that first step. Make your oasis of food security and nutrition now. That's O-F-T-H-E-F-I-E-L-D dot com or call 1-888-513-2837. Start now and make 2010 your year of independence. Hi, this is Alex Jones. Did you know that the global elite are now storing non-hybrid seeds in secret storage vaults near the Arctic Circle? Did you know that in a real meltdown, non-hybrid seeds can become more valuable than silver or gold? It's true, seeds have outperformed even gold and silver before in this country, and it's possible that it could even happen again. So our friends at Solutions from Science have put together the perfect mix of non-hybrid seeds. They call it a survival seed bank, and it can produce an endless supply of nutrient-dense food for you and your family. And here's the best part. These seeds have not been genetically modified in any way, and you actually get enough seeds to plant a full-acre crisis garden. So visit them today at survivalseedbank.com. That's survivalseedbank.com. Or give them a call at 877-327-0365. That's 877-327-0365. Remember, in a real crisis, non-hybrid seeds are the ultimate barter item. This is Alex Jones for survivalseedbank.com. Hounded by debt collectors with phone calls and letters? Thinking of calling a debt relief company? Don't. Greedy lawyers and debt companies charge thousands. Why pay when you can get their solution absolutely free with New York Times best-selling author Herb K's number one debt secret? The how-to on stopping the calls without paying the debt companies. Yes, free for a very limited time. Here's Herb K. Don't get ripped off by credit repair companies when I can give you the information you need to do it yourself for free. Herb K was right. His free information helped me stop the calls and settle my debt. What do you have to lose? Stop the calls now. Get out of debt and have more money. Get Herb K's number one debt secret absolutely free now. Call 800-405-7850. That's 800-405-7850. 800-405-7850. Final segment of the Alex Jones Show. Uh, coming up in the third hour, we've got a streaming of the Obama deception, so be sure to stay stay tuned for that. I'll be back tomorrow in Alex's place, um, and Alex will be back from his project in a few days. Talking to Bob Chapman of the International Forecaster. Uh, Bob, just quickly, I've seen several of the CNBC talking heads being down on gold again. Um, we nearly touched the record high today of 12.65 an ounce for gold. Um, where do you see gold going in the short term? Is it still a good time for people to get on board with precious metals? 
Well, first of all, uh, 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 September is a wonderful month for gold and silver. Uh, they're up 81% of the st time historically. So that's a good omen, so to speak. Uh, I see much higher prices here. I think we got a shot at 1500 to 1650 and uh, $25 to $30 on silver before the end of the year. And next year I, th I see it higher as well. Uh, we should see a good market uh, into the end of February. And so I'm very optimistic. Um, I think the... Uh, uh, the the market is just telling us we want to go upward, and that's in gold and silver, and uh, and and nothing's going to stop it. Uh, the government uh, that's been suppressing prices for so long, I have been very un uh, unsuccessful as of late in holding it down, and I think uh, gold and silver were just waiting for the end of the um, uh, the. Uh, uh, Labor Day weekend to go forward, and 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 I think that's what's happening right now. Okay, yeah, I mean traditionally they they do rise towards the end of the year, and uh, uh, you know in the holiday period. So there's there's no reason for that not to reoccur this year. Uh, we're going to go to Jill in Indiana. Jill, what's your question for Bob today? Yes, um, there's a company coming into my community, Liberty Green, and their major investor is Macquarie Group from Australia. And I was curious as to what Bob could tell me about them. Uh, they're the same company that bought the toll rolls in northern Indiana. Um, they, some of the financing I don't quite understand. Um, the interest on some of the stuff they have to pay back is billed at the end of so they're not merely making money in the beginning, and I don't think they have to show all their debt on their books. And so I don't really understand how they work, except I kind of get the idea they're getting some of their money from um, retirements from people in Australia is requiring them to, to actually um, put money into the retirement account, and it doesn't look like a good investment for them. And then the other question that I had was, um, what about gold stock? Um, well, Macquarie has been involved also, uh, along with the Spanish group, uh, in the uh, financing, uh, uh, the proposed financing of this NAFTA highway. And you probably are aware of that. Uh, maybe other people were not. And it's a large banking group in Australia that gets... Uh, some of their funding, obviously, through uh, retirement uh, funds that are available in Australia. Uh, they've been partners in, uh, uh, and uh, financiers of uh, the uh, toll roads in some of the sections of the country and in other countries as well. And uh, they're looking for a long-term stream of income, and they're also looking for the privatization of... Uh, are taking advantage of the privatization of uh, of these uh, projects which are needed uh, or at least those people think they are needed politically in okay places. thanks bob we're out of time bob chapman internationalforecaster.com jeff sean michael call back tomorrow when we've got gerald salente on the alex jones show stay tuned for the obama deception prisonplanet.tv Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Listen up, friends. This is Alex Jones with key information. The mainstream media is now admitting that we're going into a depression. Don't be dependent on the government for you and your family. You need to get your own supply of high-quality storable foods from eFoodsDirect.com. They're the best company out there, the longest continually operating, with a ton of great food to choose from. It's all fresh, made on a monthly basis, not some old cruddy food they're selling you like some of the other guys. Try their new evacuation pack, a two-week supply of delicious, easy-to-fix food. It comes with all the equipment you need to prepare it. With open talk of a strike on Iran in the next three months, the crisis in the Gulf, and possible evacuations, get yourself and your family ready today. The place to go is eFoodsDirect.com. Go to their website online right now, eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex, or call 800-409-5633. Again, on the web, eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex, or give them a call at 800-409-5633.